Shalom, this is Nathan Yala from the Holland Camp. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Rakakwadash. I want to give double honors to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, that teach and rule among many other things. And peace of salutations to the elect that are scattered abroad for winds of earth, out there in the highways of hedges, and pushing his truth and sincerity. Shalom. All right, so, you know, this lesson is going to go into, uh, you know, this, uh, pretty much prophesying. Okay, the downfall of Esau, Edom, okay, which are so-called white people today, all right, that are ruling this earth in wickedness. And the thing is, is that, you know, we got to stay patient, you know, we got to stay patient and, um, you know, trust in the process because the Lord, he's going to come and avenge us, all right? It's not going to be our of our own hands that's going to deliver us out of this situation, Okay, and many people think that, you know, these Edomites are going to rule forever because look at the technology, the things that they have, the power that they have. But the thing is that a lot of people don't realize that power that they have has been given by the Heavenly Father. The technology that they have has been given by the Heavenly Father, right? Because the Creator created man. Okay, just like how He created animals. For example, you got birds when they were born, you know, as little ba uh, little uh, birds, little babies hatching out of their eggs. You know, the mother and the father are there to, you know, feed them. And as they get older, you know, they learn how to fly. And when they learn how to fly, they leave the nest. And the thing is, is that the, the parents of those birds never taught taught them how to survive, uh, like, you know, how to make a nest, for example. It's already programmed in these birds how to make a nest, okay, and do the things that they're doing. And, you know, like Esau, what he likes to say is that's because it's animal instinct. No, the Heavenly Father has programmed them to be that way. Okay, you got animals out there that just do things naturally. Okay, and that's the same thing with these Edomites. The Heavenly Father has created the wicked to be wicked. You know, and, and, and Esau may say, well, how come he created me this way? Well, the Heavenly Father has his purpose on how he wanted things to happen. This is his, this is his uh, um, thing that's going on, as you could say, scripturalized, because, you know, as you read the script, it's actually a movie being played out right now, right? And as Esau Edom, the so-called white man, continues to make progress with his technology, that's all of the Heavenly Father. He has created the the, the, the smith, okay, uh, to create uh, the, the waster to, to destroy, right? Which is uh, these ICBM missiles. But this lesson is going to go into the fact that the Lord is going to come and redeem us and he's going to take down these so-called white people with chariots, which they call UFOs, right? Because now it's evident, you know, why? Because, you know, for us, we already know, all right? We already know the chariots of the Heavenly Father. But the rest of this world, they call them aliens, right? They call them all different names, uh, right? They, they declared it on the news that they know it's... uh. UFOs and aliens and so on and right and there was a president uh, he said um, you know what if what if they came to fight uh, just roughly speaking he says when we would put all our difference beside uh, aside and join together and it's just like that movie Independence Day this is what Esau has planned if you watch that movie they're going to try to fight against the Heavenly Father, but they're going to get utterly destroyed, man. And that's what we're getting into right now. So we're going to start it off in Isaiah chapter 66, verse 15, and it reads, For behold, the Lord will come with fire and with his chariots like a whirlwind. Okay, and what is concentrated fire? Laser. That's what the Lord is coming with. To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire. For by fire 
and by his by his sword would the Lord plead with all flesh. Okay, he's not coming to plead to talk. He's coming to destroy. Because it says here, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. You see? So the Lord is coming to destroy the wicked, man, off the face of this earth. Okay? Now jump into Isaiah 63, verse 1, and it reads, Who is this that cometh from Edom? Right? And Edom is a so-called white man with thy garments from Basra. That this is a glorious, it's like a, that, it's like a, this, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in greatness of his strength. I that speak in righteousness, mighty to save. And uh, Basra, okay, is talking about a place, but now today, anywhere that Esau is dwelling, okay, the Heavenly Father is coming to destroy. Okay, it doesn't matter where you are, Esau, Edom. Okay, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay, it's going to come down upon you with great wrath. You're going to plead with many flesh. Okay, and the, the, the remainder of you, okay, going to go into captivity. But the military forces of Esau, okay, is going to be taken out. This is Revelations chapter 1, verse 7, and it reads, Behold, he cometh with clouds. And every eye shall see him, right? Because when the Lord returns, his clouds is talking about his chariots, okay? Because everybody sees clouds. Everybody sees clouds. But it's actually talking about chariots, just like in the time of Egypt, right? When he led the children of Israel out of Egypt, right? The Lord, okay, he was a cloud by day and light by night. All right, you can go ahead and read it. It's in, the, it's in the scriptures, man. Okay. So it's talking about chariots. And these chariots, which people call UFOs, every eye shall see them and be be afraid. Right? Because just like in a time when you seen that movie, Independence, everybody was seeing all these chariots. And all these capitals all over the world. Because they got it from the scriptures, man. They know what's coming. Okay? And they that and they also which pierced him, okay, going in reincarnation, just like how they pierced the Lord, those same those same men, okay, are here today, and they gonna know. And all kindreds of the earth shall wail because of him. Even so, Amun. Right? Because they're gonna be afraid. As it says here in Second Ezra, chapter 13, verse 3, and it reads, And I beheld, and lo, that man waxed strong with the thousands of heaven, which is the Lord, Yahweh Shai. When he turned his countenance to look, all things trembled that were seen underneath him. Don't be afraid. And whensoever the voice went out of his mouth, right? All they burned that heard his voice, like as the earth faileth when, it's, when it feeleth the fire, right? Because when the chariots come, okay, that's talking about the, 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 the laser um, uh, capability of the, what the Lord has, and it's far greater than what Esau has. It's going to be some devastating things, just like how you see that movie, War of the Worlds. They were shooting these beams that was just leveling out buildings like it was nothing. And that's what the Lord is going to do, right? And after this, I beheld, and lo, there was gathered together multitude of men out of number from the four winds of the earth, as like the four winds of heaven, to subdue the man that came out of the sea. But, be, uh, but I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. And that's the Lord on the chariot, right? And you're going to have all these men, the NATO, okay, because that's what this, this lesson is going into, all right? Going to try to fight against the Lord, man, right?
right? And it says here, but I beheld, and lo, he had graved himself a great mountain and flew up upon it. And that's talking about the chariot, right? And after this, I beheld, and lo, all they which gathered together to subdue him were so afraid, right? So NATO and all these militaries that are going to get together, you're going to have all these different countries band together, okay? They're going to be afraid, but the Lord's going to put the spirit on them to fight, as it says here, and yet there's fight, okay? And lo, as I saw the violence of the multitude that came, he neither lifted up his hand or held sword, nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he sent out of his mouth as it been a blast of fire, right? Because the Lord, he's going he to have the chariots destroy these people, man. Like it was nothing, man. That's what we're waiting for. We're waiting for the Lord to come and redeem us, man. Right? We're waiting for the Lord to come and destroy the wicked. The scriptures say, wait upon me until I rise up to the prey. That's the Lord, man. He's going to rise up to the prey. You know, Esau thinks he's the top dominant dude. The top shotter, right? Well, the Heavenly Father is going to come down, you know, through his son and destroy all the wicked, man. Okay? Yeah, how about Shemiah Washiach is going to come to destroy the wicked, man? And it says here, um, and lo, as I, he saw the violence of the multitude that came, right? They come shooting all kinds of missiles and guns and all this crazy shit. Lasers, right? They're going to they're gonna have to use their own lasers as well. It's not going to be to no avail. Um, um, he neither lifted up his hand nor held sword nor any instrument of war. But only I saw that he went, I saw that he sent out of his mouth, which is talking about the chariot, as it had been a blast of fire, and out of his lips a flaming breath, and out of his tongue he cast out sparks and tempest. So it's going to be a very terrifying thing to see. And they were all mixed together. The blast of fire, flaming breath, and the greatest tempest, and the great tempest, and fell with violence upon the multitude, which was prepared to fight. Boom! Just come through, blasting all these, uh, uh, all these heathens and, and and Jake that's in the midst thereof, trying to fight against the Lord. We're gonna be utterly destroyed, man. And burned them up, every one, so that upon, so that upon a, sud a sudden, of an um, innumerable multitude, nothing was to be perceived. Because they got utterly wasted, man. You can't even tell what is what anymore. But only dust and a smell of smoke. When I saw this, I was afraid. You see? Because the Lord, he's got he got something that nobody's ever seen before, man. Right? Because the Lord came on this earth in the flesh. Right? He was as a meek, humble. Right? But this time the scriptures say... For you, Esau. This is for you, man. I believe it was a 45. Let me see. No, it's 47. This is Isaiah 47, verse 3. Thy neck in this shall be uncovered, right? Because you are being exposed right now. Yea, thy shame shall be seen. That's what the Lord is doing right now through his men. I will take vengeance. This is the Lord speaking. I will take vengeance and I will not meet thee as a man so the lord is coming with his full power okay full power man you can't even imagine how the lord is going to come and return man they're coming he's coming man you know this is revelations chapter 19 verse 14 and it reads in the armies which were in heaven followed him Upon his white horse, horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. And out of his mouth goeth a sharp sword, that with it he should smite the nations. You see? So we read that 
in 2nd Ezra chapter 13 verse 3 that the Lord is going to destroy these nations right with his chariots and he shall rule them with the iron or it's like a, with a rod of iron right because when the Lord comes these nations okay these other nations besides Esau are going to be are going to be uh, um, uh, in captivity for a thousand years, meaning slavery. And after that, they're going to get their land back. But Esau, you're going to be exterminated, boy. You're going to be exterminated from the face of this earth. And you're going to be ruled with an iron rod, all you nations upon the earth, man. I mean, you, 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 you doing things wrong, you're going to get your ass messed up, man, in righteousness, according to the laws. That's what we're going to apply. Just like how you have laws today. We got we got the, the law, statutes, commandments, which are perfect, man. That's going to be applied to each and every individual upon this earth, man. Okay. Um, and he treaded the winepress of fierceness and wrath of almighty power, right? Because he's going to come and he's going to destroy many. He's going to plead with all flesh, man. And the, and the slain of the Lord shall be many. Okay? Now jumping down to verse 19, and it reads, And I saw the beast and the kings of the earth and their armies gathered together to make war against him that sat on the horse, which is talking about his chariot. Because a horse uh, resembles power. Just like if you have horsepower in your car. Okay? And against his army. And the beast was taken, and with him the false prophets that were that wrought miracles before him, that which is which he deceived them that had received the, the MOTB, and them that worshipped his image, these both were cast alive into a lake of fueling us like a lake of fire burning with brimstone. Okay, now jumping to Revelation chapter 17, verse 11, and it reads, And the beast was, it's like it, and the beast that was and is not, even he is the eighth and is of the seventh and goeth into perdition. You see? So even, um, as you know today, America. All right, he came out of that the seventh, which was Britain, is that eighth, they would, which is going into destruction as well, which is going to be that lake of fire. Okay, all of America is going to be destroyed by fire. The chariots are going to be destroying them, America, which is known as Babylon, Mystery Babylon, right? Babylon the Great. And also, these ICBM missiles are going to destroy all of America, man. The main thing which is really going to put it, uh, uh, destroy America within an hour are these ICBM missiles, man. Because the word perdition meaning going into destruction. Okay. And this is Revelation chapter 12, slash verse, verse 7, and it reads And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels, right, which is the archangel, fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought, it's like, it, and the dragon fought. And his angels, and prevailed not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. And the drag and, and the great dragon, which we know as NATO, right, the EU, was cast out, you know, and also America as well, because America is a part of NATO. That old serpent called the devil, right? We know that old serpent, we know that in reincarnation, going through Cain, going through Esau, that's you, man. That's talking about you. Call the devil, you see, because you are a mislighter, a, a, a liar, a false, a false accuser, man. And Satan, right, which you are the physical manifestation upon this earth, is Satan, because you go into the words Satan, Shatan, meaning adversary, right? And to be an adversary, to be an adversary, you got to be adverse, right? Opposed to oppose. And that's what you are. You oppose against the Most High. You act. Like you are the most high. You have a God complex. 
And these people that are on this earth should be able to fucking see that shit even today, man. You want to change a man into a woman and a woman into a man, right? That's a clear sign that you're trying to play as the most high. All right? Turning everything upside down, you devil. Which deceiveth the whole world. He was cast out into the earth and, in, and his angels were cast out with him. You're going to get utterly destroyed. Utterly destroyed. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, Now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power and the power of his uh, anoint uh, Hamashayak for the accursed of our brethren is cast down. Right? And Esau, when this time comes, okay, the remnant of Israel is going to be saved, man. And through the elect, okay, Israel is going to come back. We're going to have many children upon this earth while you serve captivity for a thousand years. And then at the, at the end of that thousand years, you're going to be utterly destroyed, man. You're going to be exterminated. From the face of this earth, Esau. <laughs> Just like how you want to exterminate us. Project Megiddo. Rex 84. Right? You're going to get fucking exterminated. Just like how you want to exterminate us. Like how you've been causing genocide upon our people. You're going to get exterminated from the face of this earth. 100% man. Thus say the Bible. Probably gonna make a lesson about that too, man. Yeah, I wrote this uh this week. Where was I? Um For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which is Esau Edom. So called white man. These elites, right? Mainly. Which, which accused them before our power day and night, you see? And it is actually happening right now if you go into Deuteronomy 20, I don't know, Deuteronomy 37, I believe. Yep. This is Deuteronomy chapter 30, verse 7. And the Lord thy power, the Lord Yahweh thy power, will put all these curses upon thine enemies, which is happening now. So-called white-on-white crime. Right? Their, their women are leaving them thanks to feminism because they, they, they use that snare for the so-called Negro woman, okay, a female, Slakia, to go against the men of the Lord, to go against the men of our nation. All right, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, you're true biblical Hebrew, you are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, okay? The women have been set up against us through feminism, starting from the 1960s, man. Okay? To destroy our home, man. And guess what? Now it's being put upon our enemies. That's why you see these Edomites, you don't see their men around anymore. You don't see the, the women around the men anymore, right? Well, guess what? It's, it's their own snares is upon them now. Right? Because it says here, now we'll put all these curses upon our enemies. That's what you see going on. And on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. You see? Now going back to Revelations chapter, I think it was 17, or no, it was 12 and, um, it's like it. 12 and, I believe it was verse 8. Um, yeah. Verse, uh, verse 11. And it reads, and they over Revelation chapter 12, verse 11, and it reads, and they overcame him by the blood of the lamb, which is Yahweh Shai, who they eagerly called Jesus, and by the word of his testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Okay, because this life that we're living, this ain't life, man. It's pure hell, man. Yahweh Tazah, man. Yahweh Tazah, we're going to see that day. We're going to have that victory because it's already written. But we got to hold fast to what we have learned. Continue being patient, man. Because the Lord is going to redeem us. The Lord is going to save us. 
The Lord is going to destroy the wicked off the face of this earth, man. Wherever he be at, this, this devil's going down, man. All these nations are going down, man. The Lord ain't playing when he coming back, man. All right, so we got to continue to be patient. All right, in the spirit and the power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, I was shy and trust the process because it's coming. This prophecy is coming, man. They're already, the Lord is already revealing himself with the chariots, okay, in the skies for us to see. All right. So with that, Yahweh desires is edifying. With that, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakakwadash. Give double honor to the apostles, the elders of Great Millstone, and teach and rule well among many other things. Peace and citations to the elect that are scattered abroad. Shalom.